Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial. The time has just flown this year. So, on that note, we are making a festive card, sort of a winter scene. And this time we're going to be using our grey round card, which is a nice alternative to what we would normally use. But to highlight this area in the centre, to make that fairy stand out, I've used the pan pastels in the background. So that's our main focus for today. So starting with the pan pastel, so just finding a clean area of the sponge, I'm going to just spotlight in the centre there and then just gently blend out that's all I need to do for now. I'm going to do some of the embossing first on this side. And this is what I'm doing differently to the card that I showed you before. So I'm going to ink up in the Versa mark. And I'm just going to follow the edge of the card. going to return to the embossing powder to do more a little later on but let's just do this one first so this is the wow bright white opaque bright white let's tap that off pop that back in there And now we're going to heat that up. Now that probably looks a little strange at the moment but you'll understand as I carry on working with it. It's always good to get the embossing done as soon as you can because the embossing powders tend to stick to anything else that we've stamped. So let's grab our branch and now I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. down around about there at a slight angle good press and there we go and then while we're here we'll ink up our little fairy this is from our latest collection So let's ink her up again in the Nocturne, make sure she's covered and then we're going to pop her down sitting on the branch. Okay, so we're going to go back to embossing but first of all I'm going to completely dry this area. And now 
I'm going to use the Wow embossing pen and I'm just going to go along the edge of the branch where the snow would sit if it fell onto the branch. So just on the one side and also taking one of our lovely little foliage stamps. This is great just for hanging down off the branch. So I'm going to ink this up in the Versamark. And I'll just pop a few little strands coming off the branch which I think looks really pretty. So now we're ready for more embossing powder. And let's just tap that off. Now if it's attached itself anywhere that you don't want, grab a brush and just tidy it up a little. I think we're good to go with that. So I'm going to heat it again now. So I'm going to go back to this little foliage stamp and I'm going to ink up in the twilight. I'm going to take off and then just hang a little more coming down. And I think that looks really pretty. So now we are going to ink up our holly. This time we're going to use Golden Meadow, which is a lovely sort of yellow green colour. And I'm going to start just dotting a few of those around, filling in all those gaps, working my way around the card. And now the twilight, just to give it a little bit more depth. So ink up. And you can see just by adding those colours it's given us a really nice sort of three-dimensional feel to it. And now I'm going to add some winter words using the Versamark.
So I'm going to pop these down the edge. And then taking the mica minerals, this is the bronze. Using the fan brush, I'm going to just pop that over the top and it will automatically stick to the Versa mark. And we don't have to use any fixative on this. And that just gives it a really nice effect, a bit of a shimmer. We're going to go back to a bit of stamping now. So I'm going to use our berries. This is from another little set. But if you've got other berries, you can use whichever you like. And that goes with anything that we're doing here today. You don't have to use the stamps that I'm using. There's lots of different stamps out there that we can use to create lovely wreaths. So I'm just bringing in a little bit of colour now. Taking one of my smaller stencil brushes and using the Versa Fine, I'm going to just take some of this colour down a little. just in areas. pen here. I'm going to add a few little dots. And I've got my jelly roll pen and this is the red glaze and this will just make the berries stand out that much more as well so just take your time and build up the wreath gradually enjoy it I always love doing wreaths because you just get lost in the moment So we're nearly there now. I'm going to put some white Posca along the top now, over the top. So I want to block our fairy out because I don't want to cover her completely with white dots. So I'm going to just rip a little bit of paper. Keeps off very nice and clean. And then lastly, 
I'm going to just, I, all I've done is re-stamped this fairy, and cut the wing out and I'm going to stick that on because the wing gets a little lost in the branch here. So a good way to do anything like that, to stop it getting lost, then just cut part of the fairy out and we're going to stick that down. So I've got my bippity boppity glue here. Just pop a little of that on. I actually put a little bit of a shimmer on that wing as well. Now if you want to add any glitter to this, I might actually go with a little bit of blue. Now I don't want too much because we've got quite a lot going on already. But it is nice to have a bit of a sparkle. So let's pop her down a little. And there it is. So something a little bit different. If we just turn that towards the light, you can see where the mic is coming through, which I think gives a really nice finish to it. So yes, so something a little bit different and that's using our round gray card. So thanks so much for joining me again today. Hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Uh, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.